this is Slap Out Lash Girl Melissa, and welcome. I'm excited you're here. I always am. <laughs> you know how I am. I'm only here on Sunday, so I appreciate you at least stopping by and saying hello. Please like and comment, and you know, click that notification bell, and that would be awesomest, so you'll be notified when I'm on here on Sundays. So, I want to talk to you a little bit today about your under eyes. Now, I have an extremely difficult uh, inner corner eye issue. My lines run all different ways. It's very hard for me to um, get my concealer to really stay and not settle in those lines. You know, hey, you know how you put it in and you can pull it out and it's like everything sitting there and all in it. Uh, but I'm going to show you something today that I found just haphazardly in my mother's bathroom back there. Uh, she didn't use it, so I thought, I wonder if it would work. And it's been working for me, so I want to share it with you. Anytime I come up with something that's good for our under eyes as we're aging, I'm 58 as of today. I'm closer to 59 now. <laughs> in September, I'll be 59. So, if you want to know how to learn the secret, just keep watching. So, the first thing that I do is always do my skincare first including um, a moisturizer, um, I use a toner, I use hyaluronic acid, I, the ordinary, I use the ordinary hyaluronic acid and the uh, niacinamide on my face every morning. And then I go in and I also add this. This is our eye cream, Ooh, love it, it's by Unique. And I've already put that on and it's already gone in and set. This has caffeine in it and peptides in it. Great for your under eyes. I really, really love uh, when I put it on. You can feel it tightening, you know what I'm saying? And then the next thing, that has to sink in for a little while. I don't do anything else. I go make my coffee and I do whatever in the mornings. But my jojoba oil, you can get jojoba oil in TJ Maxx. You can get it in Walmart, wherever. You, no specific brand. Just make sure that it's pure. And what I will do is take a small amount of this right on my fingers like that. Not much. And I put it all underneath my eyes. All underneath and I pat it in, try not to swipe it too much, but I pat it in, <laughs> and then guess what? I also put it around my mouth, too, around my mouth, because it does soften your lips, it does soften all the lines around your mouth, too. So, that's really important to me, but I make sure that this whole area is going to be moist and ready. And then I'll go do a few other things. I'll let this sit for about five minutes, and let it absorb into my skin. And then I move on to the next step. Then the next step that I do is I put on a primer, a face primer. And this is my mattifying primer. I, you can tell that I love it. It's about anything. I hope I can get some out of here. It is a pump. There we go. That's probably going to be the last bit of it. I won't be able to have any more. And then I just play, you know, dabble it across my face and spread it out. And yes, I do bring it up underneath my eyes, just a tad, and then I pat it. It goes right over the top of where I put that jojoba oil. Yes, just like around my mouth. My face needs a lot of moisture for some reason now, and, and you can tell I have a lot of redness in my face as well. So I'm gonna put my foundation on, and then we're gonna come back and we're going to work on our under eyes. Now you're gonna love this trick. Uh, it's just something I picked up and played with, and it's absolutely working fabulous for me, and I'm hoping that, that it works fabulous for you, too. Okay, so I've gotten my foundation on. I used um, the spray foundation today. It's so, so darn pretty and full coverage and so easy to apply. And then I used a little bit of my NYX little wonder stick. I love these things. Um, <laughs> it's sort of like a little bit of a contour and to contour my, uh, you know, under here so we don't have a saggy skin showing. <laughs> I do that pretty much every day. So the, these are the things you're going to need. You're going to need a small brush. Uh, this is a Morphe M508. Perfect for what we're going to use. See how thin it is? I love this brush. It's a fabulous brush. I got it at Ulta. And you're going to need a little tiny moist blending bud. Yes, you don't. it doesn't have to be tiny. I just like to use the tiny ones around my eye. It's much easier to get in the places that I need to get into. And then we're going to use this concealer. This concealer is... Uh, by Unique, and I use the color Velour, and it's called Skin Solution Concealer. It has skincare in it. It's really, really nice, but I'm going to tell you when you use it, do one eye at a time uh, because it does dry faster. But, however, what I'm about to show you is the star of the show, and it really does help this not dry as fast, and that's what I like about it. So, I was walking through my mom's bathroom, okay, and 
I've been thinking about under eyes and I think about them all the time because mine are constantly changing and driving me crazy. This, I picked it up and I looked at it and I thought, wonder if this product would work under your eyes. So I've been trying it for like the last month and then on um, one day this week, I did it on my Facebook, on ladies night, I do a Facebook. We do tips and tricks, it was tips and tricks night. And so I use this in my tips and tricks. Now this is a uh, Vaseline, uh, extremely dye skin rescue and I'll put it all in the description box for you this just happens to look like a little trial size I don't know if my mom picked it up however I love it I love it and it's more like a lotion it's not quite like Vaseline so what I do is take a small amount of this small amount maybe about that much that's not a whole lot dab it between your two fingers Yes, you're going to dab it between your two fingers. And you're going to apply it. And so what I'll do is I'll use whatever's on one hand first. And if I feel like I need more, then I'll just take from this and just keep using the same finger that I had. And I only put it in this area. This is my worst spot. It may be your worst spot too. My lines run um, horizontal and diagonal. I mean, they're just every which way. And so this really made a huge difference in my under eye application of my concealer now however i do not wait for this to dry i go ahead and apply um whatever i'm going to use which is my skin solution concealer and whatever you want to try try it with yours maybe it'll work with yours um this one here like i said dries pretty quickly so i'll only do one one eye at a time this has a doe foot applicator and it always comes out with a lot of products. So I scrape some of it off. Okay. But I'm not going to use the doe foot. I'm going to use the brush. So we're going to take the brush and just put a little bit on here. And then we're going to start putting it here right over where I just put the Vaseline. Yes. Girl, you're going to love this. And I do bring it up on my nose a little bit more like that. And then I, um, you can look down and you can see exactly where to put <laughs> to try to hide that shadow. And I take it right on up into my temple area, right through there. And then I always put this back in, and then we're going to take our finger, your ring finger, the one with the least amount of pressure, and you're going to just blend this in. Now, however, you could use a brush if you wish. I found that this works better for me when using the Vaseline, is to take my finger and to press it in. Look at that, oh my goodness. I have never, I've tried a lot of different ways and there, and there, you know, I have a lot of different techniques that have worked, but I haven't found anything better than this Vaseline, okay? This Vaseline is like the bomb. It works so good. And so then you're going to go and you're going to do the other eye. I don't want this video to be too long. Do y'all get bored when you have to watch something for so long? I hope not. <laughs> for my sake, I hope not. I enjoy having you here. So if this is just a, you know, a one day a week gig for me, but I, I so enjoy it. I've met so many wonderful people and a lot of you have followed me to uh, Facebook, which is awesome. I love to see you there too. All right. So there you go. Let's do this side. Same thing. That Vaseline really does make a difference. I, I can't describe how it really feels. It's not greasy. It's not slippery. It's like your skin but better. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Every time I do it, I'm just amazed. And I only put it right there in that, right here, and then blend it out with my finger. Now, the next thing I'm going to do with this, I like to bring it up on my nose just a little bit for a little light through there, and then just blend it out. And see how well it blends out, even though I have on my foundation. Sometimes I've seen people put on their concealer first and then their foundation. I, however, like to kind of do it this way and blend it out. It gives a lot of light to the center of your face because I have a little bit of the concealer here and down my nose. But this is perfect. And then you could take a, a mirror or whatever and look. I got a mirror right here where I can look in. Now, I don't really see anything in my lines. Now, this is where I like to come back. So if you feel like you've put too much, you can take this little beauty blender and just kind of gently press through just like this. I like to use the tip part because sometimes you get a little heavy handed maybe under here and it will help to remove anything that was sitting there. Look at that. 
and just press it. Don't roll it or anything. Just press in and out all the way. And you see how slow I'm doing this. So it will remove whatever you don't need. Take your mirror again up close and kind of pull it out. I don't have anything sitting in there, and that's a blessing. <laughs> to me, it is. And then I'll come back. And if you don't like powder, I use It's Bye Bye Powder uh, to set mine. But you can use a setting spray. Spray the setting spray onto a brush and make sure it's not too wet. And you can just dab it through here and it will set it. Or you can use your powder. Now, if you're going to use powder, there is one other step I will show you just in case you get too much powder. You don't need a whole lot of powder. And I put it right, that's way too much. So this is my uh, Morphe. This is my under eye brush. It's the M536. M536. Perfect. It's big and fluffy. It is made to work under the under eye. And I will kind of dab this. And look, I just get most of it off. It's not a whole lot. And then you just want to press it. Press it into your eye underneath there. Very, very lightly. Okay. And I'm going to tap just a little more. Tap it off and press it. I always start on the outside because I don't want all the powder concentrated right here in the center. Uh, think about doing that and then push it back out. And then I kind of wipe it off on my fingers like this. And then just lightly, if there's anything loose sitting there, kind of brush it away. Now, here's my other little tip. If you're going to um, use the powder, and I have some rosehip oil. Now, I would not go back with jojoba oil or anything like that. So, if you have some that's kind of settled into your eyes here a little bit, and you're just not quite sure um, what to do, and you go, oh, girl, it's a little cakey. Mine doesn't do that. Um, but you could take a little bit of this. And what I normally do is just maybe touch the side of it like that. And you have a little bit on your finger like this and you could dab it right here because this is where I would have like crepiness okay and what this does I mean this is minimal you're barely even using any product it will absorb that little powder that's there and you won't uh, you won't have to worry about it okay it would, and this stuff absorbs into your skin so it's not like it's going to be sitting there oily and shiny okay I love this look at that it looks so good. Now, I still have bags, of course. I'm always going to have the bags unless I have some kind of surgery, which uh, I've never had surgery on my eyes before. So, this is my 58-year-old. This is what they look like, guys, <laughs> pretty much. And when I smile, you know, I still have all my crinklies right here, and I'm proud of them. I've earned every one of them. I was a sun goddess when I was a young girl. I uh, lived on the lake, and so this one, this little line right here kind of bugs me a little bit. But, you know, it is what it is. We're aging. We're just going to age gracefully or we're really going to do something about it. And I probably will try to start getting back on some Retin-A. That's going to be my next journey. But, uh, eyes watering, sorry. Just a tad there. My eyes water to yours. I don't know what to do with that. All right. So, there you go. Now, I'll take some, some pictures of it close up and kind of sort of show you at the end what it looks like. But let me go finish the rest of my face and I'll be right back. Okay, here's my finished look. Look at that incredible. Let me get up close. Ooh, girl. Mm, mm. You need to do this. You need to try it. This stuff right here is a game changer for your under eye. Who would have thought? I don't know what made me sit and think that maybe this would work. I don't know. Because I opened it up and I looked at it. And it's not like Vaseline. It's like a lotion. But, man, does it really soften that under eye. And you can just touch it. And it's just so soft. I love this product. I don't think it was meant for your under eyes, but it's working for me and it's working and it stays all day. I absolutely love it. It's one of the best things I've ever put under my eyes. <laughs> Who would have thought that Vaseline would do this? All right. Thanks for watching and I appreciate your time. I love it when you stop in and, and visit with me. You know, only if it's just for a few minutes. It's on Sundays. So please like and subscribe and I would love for you to come back and visit me again next Sunday. I'm thinking about doing... Um, the bigger lip saying I saw a hack that I tried and I loved it and I showed it to the ladies on Facebook and they loved it so I'm thinking I might do it here for you so that's probably going to be next week so make sure you come back and catch that okay thanks for watching see you later